Executive Deputy Commissioner Ambach attended the inauguration of the Chautauqua County BOCES translator system on May 3, 1976. The establishment of the translator system was a result of five years of collaboration between the Education Department, the Appalachian Regional Commission, and local schools to use translator towers to extend television services to remote areas of the state which were not yet served by public television. The inaugural ceremony was to be a live demonstration of the capacity of the translator system to broadcast locally produced programs to residents in Chautauqua County. These locally produced programs would augment the programs broadcast from the Buffalo Public Television Station. As the inaugural ceremony was in progress, it was discovered that a malfunction of the new translator system prevented the residents in Chautauqua County from receiving the live broadcast. Because the live ceremony being conducted jointly from the BOCES Loguitas Center in Fredonia and the TV studio at the State University College at Fredonia was also being videotaped, the evening ceremony continued. The translator system was repaired and the videotaped inaugural ceremony was broadcast on June 3, 1976. The event that you at home and we here at BOCES and the university are involved with tonight took a lot of effort over quite a long period of time. Behind the scenes, assisting in the planning and funding of this television service has been the New York State Education Department. And we are most fortunate in having as one of our honored guests tonight, Dr. Gordon M. Ombach, Executive Deputy Commissioner of Education. From my own experience, I can tell you that Commissioner Ombach not only preaches the value and importance of using communications technology, but he is also is an accomplished practitioner as well, using the media effectively to get the message across in his own presentations. With him is Mr. Raymond Graff, Chief of the Education Department's Bureau of Educational Communications. Ray and the Bureau have supported our efforts with technical and professional expertise, and of course, with some of the funding needed to build this service. Gordon? Ken, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, this evening you're viewing, but I know that very soon in this series of programs and in this project, you will also be participating in this very important new development in communications here. We're delighted to be with you this evening. Ray, you may have noticed, was the person holding one end of the ribbon at the outset. We are delighted. We bring greetings from the Education Department at this important occasion. Thank you, Gordon. I wonder if you could share with us some of your perspectives on the place of communications programs like this one in the state education plans. Well, we, of course, have been sponsoring the development of technological improvements for many, many years. Technological improvement and education have really gone hand in hand for centuries. The development of the printing press, the book, the blackboard, the rapid copy machine, radio, and television. During the past 30 years, there have been just tremendous developments in television. Remember back in the late 40s, the fights, now you'd look at Friday night fights, now you look at the Olympics and marvelous coverage. This has been quite an extraordinary development, through with a videotape, and now through to a project such as this one, which we're pleased to be a part of. We, of course, have supported over the years the development of the Educational Television Councils and will continue to support them. We've supported the BOCES, the Translator Project, which was described by film just a few moments ago. And we're very pleased to be in support of this particular development, where a large system using the Educational Television Council and the broadcast through Channel 17, which has a broad regional perspective, is used together with this important local project to get local broadcasting. This is an important part of our overall development in technology. Well, how do you see a project of this nature fitting in with the rest of the communications and telecommunications in New York? Is it really unique or will there be others like it? We would certainly hope that there'll be others like it. Just about a month ago, I spent a very pleasant Sunday afternoon in Stamford, New York the eastern end, if you will, of the entire translator network. 
Some years ago, there were tre tremendous, very important breakthroughs made in the initiation of that translator system. And we celebrated then a 10th anniversary of that rural education center and of the system that had been started. Here tonight, I think we celebrate a beginning of another stage in the development of this kind of system, where the local broadcast becomes so tremendously important. We're looking from the department toward this area to see what can happen when there is such a tremendous potential for local broadcast. We have great hopes, we have great expectations, and we expect that there will be tremendous success in doing this. There's no question, but what if we can see the proof of good local broadcasting that we will promote its development throughout the state and the same kind of interject system so that this broad system of the Educational Television Council, the public broadcast, can be adapted to meet the particular needs of a locality. 